Stuart, in general, neuroscience would demythologize the world and really, although people would be not like to say this, eliminating the possibility of religious views in, in totality. Uh, how does your view of consciousness at the quantum scale, um, uh, how, how would that potentially articulate with religious or spiritual or cosmic consciousness kinds of views? I think consciousness is happening in the brain, in the microtubules, but at the level of fundamental space-time geometry. Now, when the blood stops flowing and the oxygen stops being delivered, the quantum coherence, uh, the membrane physiology uh, goes first, and eventually the microtubule coherence is lost. The conscious information, quantum information and memory in, encoded in microtubules, encoded in the, in the Planck scale geometry of the microtubules, isn't necessarily lost, but can dissipate to the universe at large, become non-local, remaining in Planck scale geometry or, or, or some level of the universe, but remain entangled as a unit, as a unit, as a quantum soul, if you will, by entanglement. So I think, I don't argue that this occurs. I don't have definite evidence, although there's a lot of interesting effects now at end of life brain activity with high coherent gamma bursts and that sort of thing. Why would that be possible evidence for such an extreme position that you've just said? It would pave the way to consciousness leaving the brain and go into the universe. I think that it doesn't prove it, you're right. But I think it's feasible, it's possible that consciousness exists in Planck scale geometry in the universe at large and when and it's possible that it remains entangled as a quantum soul. I don't think we can rule it out until we understand consciousness in the brain. I, I, I want to understand that it is obviously a fabulous, I, I use that in the technical sense of the word, not the not the positive sense of the word, a fabulous kind of, a, kind of a, a analysis, but it is one. And it is a uh, it, it is worth analyzing. So you're saying that all of the memory, the personality that we have, that is encoded at the at the Planck scale within well, it's microtubules. Encoded in the microtubules, but correlates with Planck scale geometry. Okay. Really the same thing. Uh, okay, and 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 all of that together, it has to be the totality, not each individual. All of it together can exist as a as a totality and waft off in some non-local sense and be all over the universe and inhabit everything. Spatial separation in the first place may be an illusion, but yes, that's what I'm saying. That it can dissipate to the universe at large, but remain entangled so it doesn't dissipate. And it can stay together who knows how long. Maybe uh, if, the, if the patient's resuscitated, go back and they said, hey, I was floating above my body or I had a near-death experience. If they die, well, maybe it can go into another zygote or embryo, microtubule somewhere else, or maybe exist indefinitely. I'm not arguing that's the case. I don't have evidence. So, but how would the different expressions of the soul or the spirit that different religions have, how could that be um, uh, encoded within your physicalist mechanism? You know, Roger came up with these ideas, and he avoids the issue of spirituality or religion. Uh, maybe I'm less wise than I talk about it. But, <laughs> but when you think about it, um, he has uh, his consciousness built into the fundamental level of the universe. can be non-local. He also has platonic values guiding our conscious choices and perceptions, which to me, when I read his book, uh, The Emperor's New Mind, it was sounded like divine guidance or following the way of the Tao or something like that. And so... Uh, there's goodness uh, and perhaps evil built into the universe. So I think you get, uh, you get a lot of aspects of spirituality in terms of non-locality, the possibility of the existence of consciousness after death, after bodily death, and uh, uh, influenced by platonic values embedded in the universe. To me, that's, that's a religion right there. So how would this articulate with given religions in the world? Uh, whether it's Eastern religions yeah. or, or Western religions that, that have a God or, or have a cosmic consciousness, uh, how would one articulate with the other? It's most, from my perspective, it's most compatible with Eastern views, uh, without a particular God who looks like uh, looks like us, something something like us. But on the other hand, it, it could be it could relate to that too, just by saying that that's a coalescence of, of beliefs or something like that. So to me, it fits with any religion. I'm non-denominational. But, but you do feel that the physicalist mechanisms that you have could give legitimate underpinnings uh, to some of the more religious views that most scientists think are uh, pre-scientific. Yes, I think uh, pretty much all of them, actually.